Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can trigger the Lightbox Gallery from any type of hyperlink, be it a normal text link, button or the image widget maybe. It's a little trick which doesn't require any special plugin or Elementor Pro. You only need a basic naked version of Elementor in order to make things happen. Inside of the Elementor, every image related widget can trigger the Lightbox, such as the image widget itself, of course, the gallery widget, or the image carousel widget. The first one opens a single element light box, while the other two create the browsable gallery, so to speak. The trigger is always the image element and is always a part of the parent widget. But sometimes, for some awkward reason, you might want to open the gallery or a collection of images from elsewhere, like from the button or the text link, and in the same time, keep the bunch of images hidden. What you can see on the screen right now is a simple content block whose elements are used to trigger the Lightbox Gallery, and which I'm about to add right now. For the purpose of my hidden collection of images, I'll use the Image Carousel widget. I have also tried the same trick with the Basic Gallery widget and it didn't turn out well, so that's the main reason I'm using the Image Carousel and hence I'm about to hide the gallery in a physical sense anyway, the type of the widget I use doesn't really matter. My image carousel should be really basic, without any kind of controls or autoplays. You can think of it as a container of images, having no other particular purpose. Ok, so the next step is to figure out the Lightbox Gallery ID. Why? Because all the images are grouped into gallery via unique ID. Let's first save what we got here and then do the preview. I'm going to use my Firefox browser developer tools to dig out the required ID from the DOM. Before I do anything with my gallery ID in Elementor, let me show you how the image carousel HTML looks like. What you can notice is the pattern. Ok, look at it. Every single image from the carousel is wrapped up with the identical set of elements. However, what we are looking for is the data attribute named, watch this, Data Elementor Lightbox Slideshow, followed by the gallery ID. Every image link from the image carousel widget has that chunk of information and all I gotta do is to assign the same data attribute, having the same ID to the external hyperlink of my choice. So I'll double click to copy the attribute first, then get back to Elementor Editor and for the beginning assign the data attribute key value pair to my button widget. How exactly? Well, I'll expand the link options by clicking on that cog icon and I'll simply paste the attribute into the custom attributes input field. Now I have to go back to the preview tab in order to pick up the ID as well. I'm just going to do the copy paste. Ok, I'll go back to the editor, add the pipe character to separate in order to separate the key from the value and simply paste that holly ID after it. Ok, now the big question, which image exactly I want my button to open first? I've got two options, one of which requires additional step. The first option is to target the image from the media library that hasn't been added to the image carousel at all. The second one is to target the image from the collection of images that have already been added to the carousel and in that case I'll have to delete or remove the target image from the collection in order to avoid redundancy. So the whole point is that whichever image you choose to display first, that very image should not be a part of the image carousel or otherwise you'll create a duplicate. The first option scenario, let's open the image from the media library. It doesn't matter which one, all I have to do is to copy the file URL. Not sure whether it only happens on my end or else, but that copy URL to clipboard button doesn't work every time. Alright, and now I'll just paste the file URL into the button widget link input field. You can think of it like adding a new image to the collection of existing images of my image carousel. And that's it! Let me now hide finally that carousel for real, because it shouldn't be visible at all. So I'll go to the advanced tab, responsive panel and make my carousel hidden for each and every device. It's actually going to be hidden in the front end, 
but still editable in Elementor. And if I now try to hit the button, you'll see that the image from the media library is open first and is actually merged with all other images from the carousel. Ain't that cool? Now, in case you want to create the text link that is supposed to open the Lightbox Gallery in the same fashion, you'll have to add required data attribute manually through the text editor. So this time I'm going to create the text link and I'll make it trigger one of the images already added to the image carousel. So I'll open the gallery and hence I want my link to open, for instance, the last image from the gallery. All I have to do is to copy the file URL, just like I did a minute ago for the button widget. Okay, now that I have the file URL, I'm gonna create the normal link in text editor first. All right. Now I'll highlight the button in order to copy paste the data attribute key and the value, which is much quicker than going back to developer tools, right? Then I'll just swap the text editor mode to text, which allows me to edit the HTML and I'm gonna paste the data attribute inside the anchor element. Now, instead of the pipe character, I'll use the equal sign. And of course, I have to enclose the gallery ID with the quotation marks. That's all I have to do here. Because of the fact that the, the first image I want to open is from the collection of images already assigned to the carousel widget, I'll remove it from there. Why? Well, I'll repeat once again that whichever image you pick to display first, that very image should not be a part of the image carousel anymore because this is how you're going to create a duplicate. And that's pretty much it, people. Just to mention that if you want to turn the image widget into the lightbox gallery trigger, the procedure is 100% identical to the button widget. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make myself redundant and do the same thing once again here. I hope that you enjoyed this pretty much short video lesson, and I hope that something like that can be helpful at some point in your work. If you plan to buy Elementor Pro, please use my affiliate link, which can be found in the description of this video, because this is how you can support my channel and let me create more videos like this one. Other than that, peace and love, people.